John, you brought us to the boof spot. Oh, this is a bad spot, huh? Yeah. Is this uh, smack them outdoors, water grind, waterfowl grinders turned into ice grinders? Is that it what is. I'm seeing right now? It is. I skipped uh, goose hunting today to do this, so if I don't catch a 42 inch walleye, I'm probably never going to do this again. I can't swim, so if the ice cracks and I fall in, you'll never see me again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look what the cat also dragged in. Hello, guys. Nick from NB Edits. I haven't seen you in a hot minute, dude. God, it feels amazing to be out here. I'm just blessed John actually likes me enough to invite me out here to ice fish. Because I didn't have ice in my state. Like, I did, but it just wasn't safe enough. So he was like, hey, I have ice. And I also have been catching fish. I was like, well, I can't resist that. So here I am uh, out on the lake. We're going to be doing some crappie fishing. I'm extremely excited. We're on the two live scopes today four guys early ice i mean it just doesn't get better than this what is going on guys welcome back to another episode as you can see i'm with the homies right now smack them uh they've been taking me hunting so i'm like i'll take you ice fishing so they're out here then nick made the seven hour send all the way from wisconsin to minnesota to hang out with me i know right who the heck would do that but before this video gets started just want to let you guys know ducks waterfowl is having a huge black friday sale um i'll pop all of the deals up right now i know there's different days for different like sorts of items it's 20 percent off like hats one day sweatshirts yada 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 check out all this stuff and if you go down in the link below you can go there and check out all the deals and get yourself something nice christmas is coming up so you better go down there and pick out something for the loved ones uh surprise them with some duck gear but as you guys can see we made it out here i was here you guys saw in the last ice fishing video i fished here and i decided to bring the homies out so we're gonna try to actually make this into a catch and cook i didn't harvest any fish last time i was here and you guys know i'm all about the golden crispies so i think i'm gonna try to catch my limit or dang near limit bring them home and fry them up in the grease for a little early ice catch clean cook crappie action this is still early ice i mean we had a really cold night luckily um this pressure ridge is honestly probably around like five inches thick still maybe even five and a half and then the rest of the lake is still like three and a half inches but if you guys are going to be traveling on the early ice remember please remember to take those safety precautions when you guys are out there because i would hate to see something happen to any one of you guys i am going to drill a grid of uh stuff here and we're gonna start fishing. We also brought some iFish Pros. You're allowed two lines per person. I'm gonna drill a grid. We're gonna set the iFish Pros out, some tip-ups, and do a little bit of jigging. So stay tuned, guys. Ice fishing 2020 season, it's here. All right, folks, so I am searching for these uh, crappies right now. And I'm just searching around right now with the old Garmin. Thought I saw a couple over here. Um, okay, yep. So I'm searching right now. They're 40 feet, there they are, right there. As you can see, they're moving like mofos right now, though. Holy crap, dude. Ah, these gosh darn early ice crappies, I'll tell you what. Piss me off. We got, what, I got a couple right here, super suspended, coming towards me. Maybe, or is this one big one? It's all over me. Big in, got a big in, got a big in. Oh! Oh no. <sighs> I, I know that was a pike too. God, there's nothing I can do there, bro. I'm using four pound test for be my crappie setup, you dude. Be First fish of the day came in. He, sa he sat there and looked at me for a while, then finally he did it. That was 100% a pike. God, God. Well, there's nothing I can do there. It was 100% a pike or some toothy critter. And that is really hard to catch on four pound test for a crappie setup. So we're gonna open up the old frostbite jigs here. And uh, what am I feeling? These all look like gas. Um, I'm actually gonna go with this purple guy. 
This thing looks super dope. Look at that. Oh yeah, if you wanna check this out, it'll be linked down below, as well as the rod that I'm using. This is the Royal Flush 36 inch light. This is gonna be my like panfish rod and glorified walleye rod if possible, or big jumbo rod, because it's got that backbone that can really handle these fish. And it has a, a light load in the, in the tip, which is really nice for panfish. But we're gonna tie this bad boy on, probably put on a dragonfly and keep at it. It's all you can do. Come on, they're they're slowly getting their way, making their way over here. Big school, big school. Oh, god dang it! Missed him, swinging a miss. Come back for seconds. He's right on me, dude. What is this? There we go. There's a fish. There's a fish. What do we got? What do we got? Oh god. Oh god, tangled in the deucey. There we go, a nice little crappie. Perfect 10 inch little crappie right there. He's gonna be a good harvester. That's a first one, okay? We're gonna see if we can stack them up here and get a nice catch cut for you guys. My god, they're being so finicky today though. It's been unreal, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there they are. Okay, they're back this way. Now we're gonna reel up and go follow them. Oh God, folks, this is just some good exercise. I'm telling you, if you need to, uh, you know, get some good exercise, go early ice crappie fishing because those fish will make you work for it, dude. 100% make you work for it. Oh yeah, here they are. Come on, get down there, come on. Come on, we got a school here, come on. Come on. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna get marked. There we go. There's a nice one. Come on, please be another eater. Please be another eater. Yep, another eater. There we go. There's two eaters for me. They're loving the tungsten and frostbite setup here. I'm gonna try to get back down there as soon as possible because these sons of guns are here right now. Want to catch some crappies? Do I want to? Yeah. I don't care. Are you getting them? Yeah, the, the every the problem is I have a school on me, yeah. and then they'll leave because every time I catch one, they just move away. But see, there's another one. Oh, it's kind of a little guy. Oh, well, it's the third fish of the day. Third fish of the day for me. Not a keeper, but uh, we're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. You want me to go grab the auger and a rod? Yeah. So you can get on them again? Yeah, see, like, look, they just keep oh, moving. Yeah. If you and I tag team them again, there's a rod right there, Dustin. You just need the auger, yeah. All right, moving over here again, boy. Right, there's a hole right next to me. Just come over here and throw and put down. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh, they're all on your side, dude. Holy crap. All right, so I had Dustin come over here and help me tag team these fish. Super good uh, tactic to do if you're gonna be early ice fishing. Just because you want to keep a school in one spot, always have a bait down. And that's why you bring a buddy. There you go. Doubled. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, well, now we don't have any bait. <laughs> uh, mine's a little good. Oh, mine's, mine's pretty nice. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. This one's not bad. Oh. That one's nice, dude. That one's nice. That Let's nice. go. Oh, that's the biggest one I've caught here so far, bro. Look at that. That's a tank. That is a nice one, dude. All right, I'm going to get back down. I can't waste this time, dude. Gotta keep double teaming. You got, we got a freaking school here and a half. You're about to get whacked, aren't you? Yeah. Let's go. All right, so Dustin has one on again. If it's a keeper, keep it. Oh, yeah, oh, nice one, dude. Dude, this is, dude, a, good this is a good school. This is a good school. I'm gonna get murked. I'm gonna get murked. There we go. Dude, those so <laughs> Mine's a tiny guy, dude. Here's a good one. Oh, dude, this is a good school. We gotta get back down there. Oh no. Oh no, they're all on Dustin's side, but dude, see how see the school's staying here longer than normal because Dustin and I are just absolutely tag teaming the crap out of this. Oh my god, gotta get back down though. Look, you're about to get whacked, dude. Look at this, I don't even go. Oh, you're gonna get whacked. You're gonna get whacked. Down. That looks like a good one. Oh. God damn son, put on a clinic over here. Woo! Good school, definitely a good one? school. Yeah, oh, yeah, keep it, keep it. Get back down, dude. They're all on your side. What the heck? Oh my god. 
Dude, what the? F Hold up, I'm going down your hole. Screw this, bro. Dude, screw this. I'm going down your hole. Oh my god, dude. Oh my. Watch, now they're gonna come over here. Yeah, they're just gonna fall dust. It's in. all about the angle of the dangle, Jim. It is all about the angle of the dangle. Look, this one. Look, oh, racing, idiot. racing, dude. There we idiot. go. Oh. Oh, just a little guy, but dude, me and Dustin are just piling them up right now. They moved a little bit. Here comes the sun on oh the my god, dude. <laughs> yep. Woo! Feel good? I don't know. Feels like a crappie, honestly. Nice so crappie, dude. Freaking crappie by himself. Well, I had to take a pee, but Nick uh, caught us some more dinner right there. Yeah. Thanks for the rod, John. Thanks for the pan optics. And nice little crappie. And the, <laughs> and the lake, and the spot, and the guide service, and the car to get us here. Thanks, John. I okay. love you. Whoa. <laughs> All right, we've been chasing panfish for like 500 minutes and can't stay on top of these fish. And there's something right there. The solo came in here. What we got? What we got? Please be nice. Oh, yeah, nice crappie. Noise crappie, another keeper. Oh goodness, dude! I, it's been so hard to stay on top of these fish. Like, unreal hard, unreal hard. It's a blessing and a cursing having this panoptics because, like, it gives you the ability to follow them. But man, it can frustrate the heck out of you if you're really following them and they're not biting. But there's another one. I'm only gonna catch a couple more probably, and then we'll call it good for the old catching cook, and then we'll just get to the catching or the cooking part. Okay, I got a good like eight eight pack or so coming at me from behind. So I don't know, maybe this would be good here. Keep it coming. Yep, here comes one, aggressive as hell. There we go. There's one right there. Oh yeah, not a. Oh, that's pretty close to a keeper. We're we're gonna put him on the ice right there. We're gonna see if I can get back down there quick enough to catch his little friends let's see if I can just destroy this by myself they're exactly underneath me right now so I don't have the plane optics camera going right now it's just it's been so hectic trying to find these that one up at me that was pretty cool that was pretty cool oh yeah that's a nice one that's a good one. Oh yeah oh yeah another keeper right there keep it going keep it going come on Come on, come on, John. Come on, get back down there. Get back down there. Get back down there. Get back down there. Come on, let's get back down. They're kind of moving away. No, come back. Come back. Let me get one more of you guys. Come on, one more. See, it's just crazy how fast they freaking move away. But we got two, we picked off two more from that school. So that's pretty cool. I think we have enough now. We're going to pick up and take these bad boys home, clean them, and then have a little fish fry. That's, that's always. A good thing i love having some fish fry i love putting some fish in my mouth and uh, i'm just gonna sit here and keep watching these crappies avoid me so yeah shoo there you guys have it we uh just caught a crap ton of crappies um man i'm so sorry for not filming that very well i was just so in the zone on trying to find those fish with the pan optics and stay on top of them it was tough to just locate them in general i mean they're they're moving so much more than they were a couple days ago but we ended up catching some and we're gonna take them home for a nice little early ice uh catch and cook dustin and i the most success that we had was when we got on a wad and had two lines down had a line down at all times because it kept those fish in one area um and that would force them to not really move that much but uh that was that was pretty tasty yeah that was fun as for now we're just gonna fish a little bit more and then i will catch up with you guys when we get back to the crib Whew, what's going on guys it is the next day and it's a little bit cold out i'm a little bit i'm nipping right now these things could cut diamonds i mean just check that out but we are at the old fleet farm and we're doing a catch a cook like i said but I'm switching it up a little bit. I'm investing finally. I know a lot of you commented like, dude, just get a fryer. It solves all your problems. I'm doing it. I found a fryer that I like and uh, me, Dustin and Colin, they're here with me to make this purchase. So we're going to go in and kind of just look at the options and get a fryer. You boys ready for some fish? Yes, sir. I am ready for some fish. I am so hyped. 
on a cold day. Some hot, greasy, fried up fish that we just caught. Sounds amazing. And John, you gotta go that way a little bit. The door's over here. Okay, thanks. I know we have a little bit of foggage going on on the camera. I'm sorry. Um, but we're looking for this thing called the Fry Daddy. Oh God, is that it over there? there it is. Oh God, is he down? Is he down? Is he down? Is he down? Shout out Luke Bryan. Dude, that's, I wanted one that wasn't very big and this looks perfect for me. I think it's like a four cups, so it's like one liter-ish or so. Come on guys, let's go. All right guys, we're out here, Fleet Farm. Right over here. Hey! Oh, they don't have Cajun or Buffalo, they just have original. Oh my god, look at these. Have you ever had these? No. The Black 40 Sriracha? The Black 40, he says. What the hell? If you guys can read, that does not say oh. the Black 40. Oh. Rip. <laughs> the Back 40. I'm sorry. Dude, look at all these Andes. I've heard of Andes. I heard it's I gas. I was just out shooting on the Black 40. Shooting at the range on the Black 40. The Black 40, the Black Flority, the Black Flority. I'm trying to think here, boys. There looks like there's some really good stuff here. I mean, I've never tried to... Look, see, there's there's so much good stuff here. Um. Well, should we do a Black 40 Cajun? Oh, we could do a Cajun comparison. Should we do that? Like, see which one's better? That's what we're working with. Okay. Andes or the Black 40? We'll find out which one's better. All right, so we have uh, two different types of... All right, so we got the oil, we got the fry daddy, and we have our breading. And our actual daddy. And our, and the actual daddy, look at that. <laughs> so we're good to go now, boys. I think now we go home, we su surprise the girlfriend with the new toys, and we have a little fish fry. Oh my God, John, your girlfriend's gonna be there. Anyways, that's enough of John on this channel. I am gonna be taking this over. <laughs> Get this, here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's happening? You know what's about to happen. I know exactly what's happening. Go one in there, go one in there. Mm -hmm. Can I get one One more? in there, okay, mm -hmm. okay. You think we're done? No, 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 no. What do we have? The old bush latte. Okay, oh, here we go, Rivas. My goodness. Bush. Oh God. <laughs> Let's see the pour. What kind of pour do we, kind of pour do we got here? You gotta do one of these. You gotta tilt the glass a little bit so it doesn't foam up. Big tip for you guys at home. Oh yeah. Oh my God. This is gonna be perfect, dude. Boy. Oh God. After a long day. Dustin, I'm gonna get you one here and you gotta tell me your thoughts, okay? Okay, yeah, we'll swap it. Verdict? That's amazing, John. I'm sorry, I didn't have a mini can or a mini pickle for the greeble, so <laughs> you're gonna have to do a full size today. I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna challenge Badland Chugs on TikTok. <laughs> I can't chug beer. I'm gonna enjoy this beer though. Apple juice, you mean? Good? It's good, but it's not an oh god good. No, it's pretty oh god. All right, we made it back to the crib here. Me, Krusty, and Griebel, and Lindsay's here too. We're gonna do a fish fry, family fish fry tonight. Um, we got, well, I think it's in here. Oh yeah, I even double bagged it here just in case we got a little bit of leakage. We got some fish right here. I think we're just gonna send it, do all of it. Also, we're gonna do fish and yes. chips tonight. Yeah. So we got the beer, we got the new fryer, we got the fries, we got the fish, we got the oil, we got the breading, and the pickle. Are we missing anything? 
No, Greebles here. So we're good to go now. Um, I've never used this Fry Daddy, so we're gonna go, we're actually gonna do it on my balcony. So the fish like smell doesn't like just resonate in here, but we're gonna get this set up and uh, start cooking. Oh God. John, all over your floor. I like the drips. <laughs> all right, so we have the oil outside. She is ready to go. And we're gonna do the little breading process here. This is super simple. Just gonna bring you guys through it real quick. So we got our fish over here and we have some eggs. Okay. We're gonna crack some eggs into our bowls over here. So this is our egg bowl. One there. Then you're gonna whisk them together. I'm just gonna use my finger because we're all family here. Hope you guys don't mind. Yeah. Hope you guys don't mind. So, we got that there. And then, I bought some uh, plastic bags. We're gonna use these for the breading. We got two breading, as you guys saw. And we have the back 40 Cajun. You sure and, it's not the black 40? Yeah, it's not the black 40, it's it's the back 40. And we have Andy's, Andy's Cajun. I've never used these, so we're gonna see which one tastes better. Uh, maybe we'll have a new seasoning after this episode. So, we're gonna open those bad boys up and put them in separate bags so we know which one is which. All right, so we're gonna open up a bag in here. We're gonna open up a bag here, dump our breading in here. Where are we dumping it? In the bag, not the floor, guys. All right, so we'll just do this batch right here with uh, the back 40. And what we're gonna do, so you got a nice, fresh, crappy filet via the boys. We all clapped them. Smells good. First thing I like to do is get a little dowsing of flour, okay? Some people skip this step, but you don't want to because it's very essential. So you get this on there and the egg sticks to the fish better. If you did it just straight egg batter, then it doesn't stick as well. I notice that you get a better coating when you do it this way. So we're gonna dump it in our egg now, okay? Get a little, little dangledge like that, okay? See so like, look at this. See how well that's stuck? I mean, that stuck pretty well, if I do say so myself, all right? And then, we're gonna throw it inside of our bag. Just like that. We're gonna do that a couple more times, shake it around, and then those are ready to go in the grease. So I'll see you guys in a second. You ready, Colin? Attention shoppers, can I get a hoya? Hoya? Well, as you can see, John is in his full chef outfit covered in grease and powder. Hey, if you're not, are you actually cooking though? No, really? Are you eating though? All right, so we got this all good in here. All right, we got a bag. We got a bag. You want an air pocket, okay? So we're gonna create a little air pocket like that, all right? If you don't have air pocket, it makes it a little tough. You're gonna give a little shake in here. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm gonna bring it around town. Bring it around town, SpongeBob. John's only stupid with us. We're gonna take these bad boys out and see how we did. Ooh! Ooh! Poppy. Look at that. Nice coating on these crappies. They smell delicioso. That oh, looks yeah. delicious. This is what you want your fish to look like, okay? Right there. If it doesn't look like that, throw it in the garbage and feed it to the greebles. <laughs> He's upset. All right, so we got everything. We got all the fishes. As you can see, we got our papas fritas. Is it papas fritos? Or Papas fritas in Spanish. I don't know. Anyway. Is it feminine or masculine? No, no. I don't know. We got fries, okay? We let them identify themselves because it's 2020. And we're going to throw these in here. All right. We're going to set that timer for a good, I don't know, what would you say, 15 minutes? Time to bring these bad boys outside and put them in the grease. All right. Let's go. This is gonna be this is gonna be thick. This is gonna be hot, dude. Thanks, boy. All right, so we got the fry daddy right here, and we got our lovely fish crappies. We're gonna throw them in here, and be careful, guys. It might splatter. Forewarning. Oh, oh, not bad at all, dude. We're gonna toss these sons of guns in here. Ooh, you guys smell that? Mmm, smells delicious. 
All right, so what you do, you set them in there. And some of you may ask, hey, John, how do you know when they're done? With this guy right here, when they float to the top, that means they're done. You come over here and take them out. It's probably roughly going to take around three to four minutes, I would say. But I'll see you guys once they're done. Did you just fart? Uh, yeah, I did. God, yeah. Everybody go uh, check out Smack em Outdoors. Um, that is the better channel of the two that are filming here today. It's me and Colin. We film good videos on like John, so here we are watching one. It's a fantastic, fantastic video, huh? All right, ladies and gentlemen, these are done. So we take a little scoopy that came with the fry daddy. Woo, get that extra grease out. Oh God, just dribble it all over it. That's good for it. Oh my God, dude. Dude, these are gonna be gas. We left them in a little bit longer just cause I don't know how this cooks. And uh, I wanted them a little bit extra crispy today. So, oh my boys, these are going to be absolute fire. This is the back, what was it called? Back 40, back 40 seasonings done. And I actually, off camera, you guys already saw the process, but I have the Andes ready to go. So we're gonna dump these ones outside over here and let it just kind of dry and, and relax and cool down. And let's actually grab these guys. Oh God, oh God. All right, Andy's, take a little uh, grease bath, why don't you? Oh, I will say, I think the coating on the Andy's turned out better. I don't know, they're very similar, but we're gonna find out which one tastes better. Maybe we'll do, my girlfriend's here, so maybe she'll have like a little blind taste test and we'll see which one she likes better. That's good. Hey guys, John from Indac here. Uh, we just got done taking off the last batch of fish. This right here was the Andes, and this right here is the back 40, and then our fries, our Papa's Fritas. Oh, right, that mm. tastes like a fry. I'm gonna go in for a taste test here, no dipping sauce. I'm gonna do one of these guys first. This is the back 40. Holy crap. That's freaking good. That one's good. Now we're gonna go Andy's before I make the decision. Damn. I like the Andy's better. Yeah, I think the Andy's is better. It also may be biased because, well, these just came off so they're hotter. Um, that could play a role, but I, I do think it has a little bit more of a Cajun uh, kick at the end. I really like that. That was freaking good. Time to see what these boys think though. Let's try the Andes first here. That is delicious. It's got a good kick to it. I don't know how, I think it's a small piece. Not as spicy though, isn't it? The it's back not 40. as spicy. I think I like the back 40 better though. I disagree. I think the back 40 is too crunchy. So you guys are both Andes guys, huh? I'm an Andes guy. 100% Andes guy. Okay, so I think the Andes has a little bit more like Cajun, which they are both Cajun. I think the Andes is a little bit more Cajun, has a little bit more kick. I just like the flavor of the, the back 40 a little bit better, I think. I disagree still. I could agree. I could agree with that. I do like the taste a little better of the back 40, but the crispiness of the other one's better. I mean, I could have left the other ones in longer, too. Ready? I like the crunchy of this one, but this one is spicier. But if you could only have one, which one would you be eating? Probably that one. Hey. She's a back 40 gal. Hey. It has more flavor. Yeah. Oh, second bowl. Oh, second bowl. Oh boy. Hey, yeah. Morning. Whoo! Here's the carnage. Yeah, we just feasted, and then here's the uh, the workstation. That's gonna be fun to clean up. But that's gonna wrap up today's video. Um, that's how you cook fish. You just get a bunch and then have some people over and have a grand old time. That was that was a good time. That was so good. I'm ready to pass out. But hope you guys enjoyed today's catch and cook video. Drop some comments down below. Let me know how do you guys cook crappies. 
I'm curious. I'm always down for new recipes. I may have just found my new favorite seasoning. Make sure to check out these clowns. No clue what we're doing, and we are 100% leeching off of John. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.